Hey, it's Scott here. You know I'm always coming on talking about my personal belief is that companies should be accountable for the waste stream that they're producing. Well, today I'm here to actually talk about a company that is taking accountability for that waste stream and actually doing something really, really neat with it. The company is Chipotle. We, most of us know this company. Many of us frequent this company. We've all seen their restaurants. We've all seen their food stores. And, and you know, of the fast food outlets or fast casual, whatever you want to call this, uh, they're amongst the healthier options and they certainly have um, you know, some of the tastier food. And they're one of the more progressive chains that are out there as far as what they're trying to do with um, their agriculture and with their uh, sustainability programs in general. So this isn't, this is already a, a fairly progressive company but they're becoming much more progressive. And what they're doing is they're taking control of one of their waste streams, believe it or not, avocado pits of all things. The company uses about 300 million avocados a year. And what they're doing is they're, they're, they're collecting the pits as they, make, as they prepare all of this guacamole and, and use the avocado through its restaurants. They're collecting the pits from uh, a, a network of outlets that they have right now. They're taking those pits, bringing them back, and they're boiling them down to create a, a, a natural dye. And they're gonna use that natural dye to dye apparel or totes or other things from organic cotton and create a new product line from what was once simply landfill or a waste stream that had no other purpose. So now what they're doing is you'll be able to purchase garments on this website that are manufactured by actually Chipotle's uniform provider, who has, is a progressive organization themselves. Believe it or not, Chipotle's uniforms are made from organic cotton that they're getting through this provider. So now the provider is gonna take it a, that, that relationship a step further and actually start producing sustainable garments using some of the waste that Chipotle is generating at its restaurants. So I have here with me, and one of the shirts that was made uh, it, I'm not sure if you can if this is going to show up well on camera, but in the front it actually has um, the Chipotle logo on it. This is a T-shirt, uh, size small. You can see that it actually has a, a pinkish hue to it, and that's the natural avocado dye. That's the color that that is produced when the avocado pits are are boiled down, and these shirts are then dipped into that dye, and the dye take and the shirts take on that color by absorbing the dye and it's a natural process. And this is how, if you look at the uh, prior video that I did on the indigo shirts, this is actually very similar to how the indigo shirts were dyed as well. So I love the fact that this company is taking control of its waste product, that it's actually using that waste to uh, repurposing it and upcycling it to, to generate new product that can be in turn sold to the, the, the population. And, I commend Chipotle for their decisions here. I think it's just fantastic. They've come out with an entire product line. This is a, one of their um, tote bags that is also dyed from using that same avocado dye. You can see that there's a different in, difference in the shades between these two, and that's common with natural dye. Each batch is a little bit different. Each garment is completely unique. Each of the, each of the vats of dye have their own characteristics. And it's really, in my opinion, pretty neat that no two products will be identical to one another. So what they're saying is it takes about five avocado pits for, to, produce one of these, uh, to produce one of these garments. And for a company that uses 300 million avocados a year, that shouldn't be a problem to, to maintain supply of that. Uh, each of the garments is treated a little bit differently. Um, so you'll be able to, and, and you'll be able to purchase these garments through their loyalty program and through their website as well. So you're gonna most likely start to see this become a more common option for companies to, to try to find alternative uses for the waste streams that they're generating and try to even monetize it like Chipotle's doing. You know, they're, in this case, they're actually donating the proceeds of all of these garments back to sustainable fashion. And they're, they're not keeping the profits from this, from this venture. Uh, but the fact that they're out there doing this nonetheless is fantastic. So the proceeds from this will be used to support new sustainable fashion initiatives. And I just think it's, it's wonderful. Thank you.
So to be honest with you, I'm super excited to see this. This is what I've been hoping to see from more and more companies. It makes me happy that we're starting to see this from a company as big as Chipotle and from a collaboration between these two organizations, the uniform provider, Loom State and Chipotle themselves to really help facilitate something good. Um, I'm thrilled. I love supporting stuff like this. It, it, it brings me joy to order something that's been made from what normally would have been waste. That is now a garment that we can enjoy and that will have its own life ahead of it. So uh, please, you know, join me in encouraging other companies to, to come up with innovative ideas like this. Chipotle, congratulations to you. Thank you for having the foresight and fortitude to come up with something like this. Uh, and making it available to your customers. I'm sure they'll be thrilled with this product. Uh, I can't wait to keep an eye out for other things that they create using waste ingredients from their food supply chain. And I can't wait to put together another video for you. So if you enjoy hearing about stuff like this, please subscribe, uh, please like the video. If you know of companies that are doing stuff like this, please comment below. I would love to find other innovative companies and highlight them in this series uh, use, that are doing stuff like Chipotle is doing with, with uh, diverting waste and creating alternative uses for something that normally would have been garbage. Uh, thank you for, for joining me. If there was something you didn't like about this video, please leave that in the comments below. I'm still getting this, the hang of doing these videos for you. So um, thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.